All right, you're still with me. We're moving right through these here today. Okay, number five, and we're going to end with this one. The last reason why it's a blessing to be single is because of the permanence of the union. Till death do us part. Now, it doesn't last forever, right? It doesn't last all the way through eternity, but it can last a long time. Jerry's mom and dad celebrated 62 years of marriage. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? 1 Corinthians 7, verse 39 through 40 says this. It says, a wife is bound by law as long as her husband lives. But if her husband dies, she's at liberty to be married to whom she wishes only in the Lord. And then notice what he says. A little sarcasm here, I think, from the Apostle Paul. Does anybody understand sarcasm? I do. But she is happier if she remains as she is, according to my judgment. And I think I also have the Spirit of God. You say, well, what's the point of that little passage? The point is that marriage is permanent. You're bound to your partner as long as your partner lives. Once you're married, it's to death. A single person has liberty. They have freedom. But as soon as they get married, that, you know, that freedom ends. You're bound to that person as long as you live. You say, well, Pastor, can I get a divorce? Well, I mean, there are biblical reasons for divorce. I don't want to go into that in this message uh, today. God hates divorce, but God understands that sometimes that's a necessary part of, of even a, of Christian life. But, but, you, but you, some people want to just get divorced for any old reason. And how many of you know that's not the way it should be, right? Do you know what he's saying here, actually? He's actually saying it's better to not, not to get married than to be married and be stuck for life with the wrong person. Right. Am I misinterpreting that or not? I don't think I am. And so if you have the gift of singleness, if there's a measure of contentment in being single in your life, there's no reason to engage in a lifelong tie that can only be severed by death. So when we get married, what is it that we say, right? What does the preacher say? As long as we both shall live or shall death do us part, right? It's a long thing. It's a long time. And it's a permanent thing. And so he talks about liberty and freedom if you, if you don't get married. And so the question is, well, should a person get married? Well, only one person can answer that, and that's the person who's asking that question, right? I can't answer that for somebody. I've actually had people come up to me and say, Pastor Bob, do you think I ought to get married? I'm like, I don't know. You better pray about that one. I'm not giving any accounts on one way or another. <laughs> My name is not Jehovah, okay? Talk to God about that. He knows everything. He'll give you the wisdom that you need. But what I am saying in this message is that so many times the church of the Lord Jesus Christ has held up marriage as the perfect, most wonderful. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God for marriage. And don't get me wrong. I do thank God for marriage. But let me tell you something. The church, on the other hand, needs to lift up singleness as Paul did. Because Paul says it's a blessing to be single. Are you with me? All right, would you stand with me today? Thank you so much for just letting me share the word of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, so I hope you got kind of a little bit of a grasp about what the Bible says about singleness. Amen. I don't think I've preached too much about singleness. I don't think I've ever preached an entire message about singleness. My wife says I haven't. Well, I just did. Amen. Amen. That's for all y'all singles. And can we just have our marriage? Can we just give our singles a big hand? All right. Thank God. For singles. You know, it was mostly singles who refinished the ladies' room. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It was singles who cleaned up all the. All the, all the refuse out here from trimming the trees, right? It's a single man who mowed our, our lawn this week, Brother Steve, who got the tractor out there. Thank God we're single. Who would we be without single? We want to honor our singles today. And thank God for them today. And bless them today. Now, what I'd just like to do, I'd like to just pray over the singles today. Could I just have...
if you're single, can I just get you to 